Great compromises are on the table. One question is whether tax cuts are going to expire only for people making a million bucks or more instead of the 250,000 level. Let's talk about this. Here now is Democratic policy analyst and syndicated radio host Mark Levine and Curtis Dubay, senior tax policy analyst with the Heritage Foundation. Mark, before we get into the millionaire's tax, which I know you have the juices flowing on. I do, I do. I, do. I know, buddy, and I can't wait. But I want to ask you, do you share John Harwood's optimism that there will be a temporary uh, 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 extension of all the Bush tax cuts. From where I, you sit and the people you talk to, do you think Mr. Harwood's going to be right? I, I hope he's wrong. I fear he's right. You call it optimism. I call it pessimism. I think Obama's caved. I think he's surrendered. You know, a tax cut is never temporary unless you decouple it. Now, if he did something like this, if he gave a permanent tax cut to the 98% of us that are under 250000 and then for the millionaires alone, maybe do a temporary tax cut between two fifty and a million, and for those that earn more than a million a year, say, your time is up, buddy. Mm -hmm. You already have most of the nation's income. Don't take the rest of us. Then we could be happy. But at the end of the day, I think you know what's going to happen, Larry, and you probably like it. Every two years, they're going to roll over. The temporary tax will become permanent, and we will go trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars in no, debt. No, actually, we're going to have a complete flat tax reform and get rid of all the tax expenditures. Curtis, let me bring you in. What's wrong with this millionaire's tax that uh, uh, my, uh, Mr. Levine is talking about? Right, well, it's just more class warfare. It doesn't matter where they set the threshold. Raising taxes right now will just keep more people out of work, keep wages lower, and keep our economy from recovering. We should not be raising taxes on anybody. All right, Mark, you heard it. And why do you want to punish the most successful investors who are the job creators, Mark Levine? I've never understood that part of your position. First of all, it does not punish them because they're not the engines of the economy. We've talked about this. Middle class and working people are the engines of the economy. The reason why thick stores are picking up is because middle class people are buying Christmas presents, not because the billionaire gets another yacht. I don't want to punish them. I know we have to pay this debt back. Now, what are the Republican plans to pay it back? They want to cut Social Security. They want to cut union benefits. They want to throw people out of their homes. They want to make middle class people poor. I got to tell you, the vacuum has sucked all our money. It's all gone to billionaires. We don't have have any left that harms the economy I would ask Curtis how is he gonna pay it back all right Curtis how will you pay it back well I wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much about paying it if this is not a tax cut no one's taxes are going down next year this is about keeping the tax rates where they've been for a decade now if you want to keep the deficit low don't spend the money that's really all it comes down to what would you cut? Our, our tax revenue will be right back where it's been historically in a few short years when the economy recovers and it's the spending that's causing the deficit. It has nothing to do with low tax revenue. What would you cut, Curtis? Social Security, Medicare, maybe close all the national parks? What would you cut? Give me <laughs> I'm, details. I'm ready for this. I knew you were going to say that. I came <laughs> <Okay>. prepared. <laughs> all right, what well, are you going to Well, first cut? of all, the Heritage Foundation put together a plan that cuts $343 billion in spending. Now, that's only short what? term. That's the bridge to the entitlement cuts. We need to get entitlements under control. We Social need to reform Security. Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And there are plans out, to do, out there to do that. Paul Ryan and Alice Rivlin have put together some very good plans that could, could do just that. But you know, Mark, uh, let me come in here, buddy, and, and raise this question with you. If you're talking about millionaires, those likeliest to save and invest in the economy, they really are the job creators. I would argue that a lower tax rate, they're at 35 percent. Not only do I not want them to go to 40 percent, I want them to go to about 20 percent. And I'm going to say to you, Mark Levine, if you slash the top personal tax rate, it would totally pay for itself because the incentives and rewards are the most powerful among the economic activists. I say to you, my friend, the economy would expand so much, so much income would be thrown off that the top tax rate cut would actually pay for itself. Your response, my friend. But Larry, you're a smart man. You know economic history. You know that in the Bill Clinton years, when the top rate was just under 40 percent we created 22 million jobs when the bush tax cuts came what did we do bush barely created any jobs yeah, but the same is true but bill of clinton, reagan and other areas remember this mark I, I know clinton raised the top rate he didn't get much revenue out of that the economy was slower remember this clinton who i admire cut the capital gains tax rate by eight percentage points and you know what it totally paid for itself by about threefold and led to a budget surplus but, Larry, listen to what Curtis is saying. He's saying take from people's Social Security money, all the money that poor middle class people put in payroll taxes, take that hard-earned money from people's pensions and give it all to billionaires. And I don't think this class warfare, and that is what it is, sh taking people's hard-working dough and giving it to billionaires, I don't see how that helps the economy when the billionaires are sitting on more cash, hoarding more cash right. than they have in 50 years. Curtis, I'm going to give you the last word, lightning fast. 
Look, when you raise taxes on the people that Mark's talking about, you're talking about raising taxes on job creators. We need them to create jobs. Let's not raise their taxes right now. We need them creating jobs to get people back to work. All right. We're going to leave it there, gentlemen. Mark Levine, terrific stuff. Curtis Dubai, great to see you. Up next on Cut Level.